Welcome YouTube Collector, this is Anubis 009 and today I present you from DX9 Mitron and this is the make of the MP Megatron and if you see in the package over here very nice nice artwork of the DX9 which will be a cool Megatron there couple of soldiers an army of seekers very very impressive some pictures of the movie the G1 movie very very nice and the top he's like a, I'm tough I'm tough and you cannot defend me ha <laughs> ha yeah you know but on the box there you go in the back of the box you can see some kind of schematics really really cool a nice box really 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 nice box I like these boxes and this is for the box and let open him and see how cool he is and this is my Tron outside the box it's really really cool very nice gun yes I already put a Decepticon decal over there my cone with this kind of tip um, I know I see other people like MGO they come with a yellow uh, thing but my come with this one and I keep it there very cool because they make it look like a shooting laser that's cool uh, they come with a scope very very nice scope you can see they have a uh, gunmetal gray over there uh, they come with the batteries I just kind of sometimes it's kind of hard to move this latch let's see if I can move it let's see if I can move this sometimes it's, it's hard to move especially there we go they come with the batteries very very nice very cool that's cool uh, they come with a bottom over here that way they turn the the scope, the fusion cannon red that's nice, very very nice silver, this part is die cast uh, the trigger is a spring loader uh, the feet over here die cast and they have other parts are die cast but really really nice very very cool gun uh, I like it very easy for the hand I have big hand chunky hand yeah that's mean um, this one's supposed to move nice I don't know if I can move it I try <laughs> the other side yes I don't put any Decepticon logo there you know this one normally go before uh, rubber mode um, it, it look cool in gun it, it's very cool in gun but I really don't want don't want to him in gun mode uh, he don't have the uh, the front part like uh, the big long barrel and he don't have the the shoulder stock um, but I don't know it maybe later they got to put that because as you see over here it look like but I don't know for some reason they never do it and they come with other accessories and that's for rubber mode and he come with a with a collector car oops upside down very cool 
very nice card and there you go with test specs very cool very strong car and that's all now let's go to transform him in robot mode um, well the things I don't like and I agree with Engo they had this little latch area over here let's see if you guys can see it um, right over there and that have a function in robot mode but over here it make this very hard to put in and sometimes I'm afraid it got to break but I'm glad he don't well, first I compress this part the fusion cannon or scope you see it's right over there and remove <coughs> this part and sometimes this one A second this one's supposed to come like this you know you're supposed to go to slide because they had this part is is it's feel like a something got to break and you need to kind of like force it uh, I don't like that I'm glad he could be in robot mode and not gun mode does mean only if I have another Megatron and I can you know uh, make comparison, but let go and start in doing this. Uh, the first thing I need to do is <coughs> the legs. There we go, and I need to move these panels. Uh, first, I need to move this. Panels over here. Man, this thing sometimes is tricky. Um, uh, let me move first the arms. There we go. That way, um, just pick up. There you go. That way, we have some clearance. We detach this part. <coughs> Here you go. See if I can. We got this a little bit more. <coughs> there you go. Okay. Let's see. We need to detach this part. Sometimes these little tabs inside they are tricky to move oh first let me detach this there you go there you go let's say you move this little panels up come on don't 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 give me a hard time come on Lose this part, move it like this. There you go. <laughs> Sometimes these little panels are slightly tricky. I can move this one like this, put it like that. Then now, there you go. Now, high space to work there. <laughs> Let's say move this panel okay, up. There you go, put it like that. There you go, very cool. Now I can move. There you go. Can move. Let's see, I'm trying to make this thing go way up. There you go. There you go. Okay. And moving these panels. It's on that one like that. Let's see, I can move. Move 
these ones see no way to feel the legs there you go oh. just in the way there you go see the way they feel this part there you go nice oops yeah sometimes this one happen <coughs> but it's a peg it's been easy to peg back okay need to separate the legs let's see I need to move this part inside like that I mean from over here like this and now as you guys can see it sometimes this thing stay in the way cover it like this you can move those panel like that you can swivel this whole area there you go now as you have the legs like this oops there you go and that just as you can pull down the crutch there you go and you can put this one a little bit down because you need a uh, space now to do this there you go very very nice and I need to work with this now. Uh, What's the next step? <laughs> okay. Uh, oh yeah. I need to separate the arms. Sometimes that very strong. Yeah, the guys come new. This one down. You can close it up. There you go. Now, what you can now have the arms spread. There you go. Very nice. There you go. Now, you take this part over here. Sometimes it's not easy to. Take it away. Let's see if I can use something over here or something. They're hard to separate. Man. There you go. the on like that and that way you can move this one over here like that you see that could be that way now we take we move this one a little bit like this and we're taking all this area and Sometimes we need a little bit of clearance. <clears throat> uh, we move it like that. <laughs> now we're having some kind of deformation thing. <laughs> um, let's see. Work, work with the legs or I'll work with this part. Hmm. Let's see. Now for this part, you need to have the arms better like this for the moment. Okay, here we go. And 
do something like that. Now we give her more space. Let's see. Move this little cap like that. And just detach the barrel. Sometimes this part is hard to do. And sometimes this part is hard to move. There you go. Before that, um, sometimes this one go down. It's this little thing, the safety thing. Just push it down like that. There you go. Now move all this like this. Trying to keep everything accordance. Here we go. And this is the difficult part of this 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 is a pain in the neck uh, let's see how I can do this not true this one you need to kind of like angle do it and it's is tricky it's very tricky uh, you need to kind of like let's see if I can do it kind of like swinging uh, here it's hard to grab, especially when you have big hand. And keep it moving like this. Kind of can jank it up. My day is still very strong. Man. <sighs> Give me kind of a hard time. I need to kind of push it. <clears throat> Man. <sighs> Oof, this part is not easy at all. Huh? At least now I have it. Let me pull out the head. There you go. This can pull out the head. There you go. Yeah. Now I can. Da, 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 da. Need to put all this back area position because all this go in the back. Make sure this door is open very well. Okay, I go and this whole section go like this. And this whole thing inside like that. You can push it like that. There you go. So you can move this one like this. Close this tab. There you go. And so you can push. Close this. There you go. And you can push everything down. There you go. My have I, I know this little things go down, but for some reason my comb kind of like a stuck. I don't know why. In a second. There you go. Now he looks like he's flying. <laughs> and now and you put this one like that. The instructions say to put this one over here like this. It look kind of ugly. And I agree with Ango. Let's just set it down over there like that. You know, I know he have a, kind of like a backpack. Again, my stupid camera trying to don't focus very well. There you go. Now, I know we're almost done. We're almost done. Um, something very cool here all right the legs have this quite unique way to transform the same thing like the hands what you're doing is first you're taking these heels like this see? and you grab him like that and make like a like a twist there you go and that way the leg can like expand 
after that you take this little tab move it like that and connect it very cool now the feet just press down take the heel move it take this little part kind of like uh, oops. let's see just move it like this move it outside turn around and that way you expand the foot do the same thing on this side just take this part sometimes they don't cooperate very well yeah mine still I don't transform him too much yeah I need to use a tool to move this yeah this is still very stiff here you go take this part again and kind of uh, twist it there you go you see how they go voila take this little piece and do the same thing like this to the side there you go there you go take the feet yeah the feet are die cast move move it out take the heel there you go take this part and move it out yeah my I'm telling you my it has some parts are quite strong <laughs> there you go so move the whole thing like that and voila and now you had the feet and that's very cool now uh, we got to do the same thing with the hands you just need to do the same trick technique and kind of uh, twist it there you go move this one this way and do the same thing kind of like uh, yeah my have some panels more stronger than others and sometimes that make a transformation there you go a little bit difficult so now I can expand this part there you go I do the same thing with the other hand I cut. <clears throat> Man, mine is really really stiff let's see if I can take this and like a swing it down there you go and move this part go like that and do something this part like a swing it move it like that and there you go that way they flush I know we are almost done we are almost done now we need to flip this area yeah this is the problem when you have this one and you don't transform them too much there you go with this panel you see the hands are right there you take the fingers you can use the fingers to pull him out there you go yeah my it's gonna get tight 
There you go. You have one hand liberated. There you go. And then let that. There you go. Now, same thing with the other one. Take this part and open this tab. There you go. Yeah, my it's gone here. And there you go. I'm going to say if you have the hands too tight, you can screw all the screws over there. And yeah, that work. There you go. Put it like that. Take the thumb. Thumb is inside. Yep, need to use. Okay. Just the two because you want to cooperate like always. There you go. You can turn the two out. Tom go inside there. Yeah. It's quite tight. My his fingers are really really tight. There you go. It's it's weird some way you cannot make a nice fist. Yes, it's, it's weird. And there you go. I put it put it together. Go like that. Okay, go so let me move the camera a little bit higher. We're having a good looking of him. And we're almost done, we're almost done. And he's not Megatron, he don't have his cannon. No, there you go. And there we go. There you go, there you go. And yeah, I think, I think we have it, we have it, we have it, yeah, we, we have it. And, ah, oh, come on. Why he like to lay down? And there we are, Megatron, in his robot mode. And he have a little bit of weight, and it's very, very cool. Let me see if I can zoom into his head. Oh, you guys have a good head looking. You see the head, really, really nice head. Very, very deep one. In a second, there you go. Nice, nice head. Wow, his face look very animation accurate. And yeah, he have a Decepticon logo now. Biceps, very, very cool. Very, very nice detail. Very, very cool. There you go. I think he have he have quite a big weird backpack, but he's okay. You know he's not too terrible. The legs kind of split, but the problem with the split is he don't stay very well. Got to check it out with articulation. The hair can move left, right, up down the arms quite nice ratchet it's kind of like a soft 
go side soft have biceps we have um, double elbow uh, the hands they articulated they're not too bad these ones are old peg but this one they're not you know he can do the pointy finger but the other ones are completely pegged the thumb is kind of weird you know you know like to most the thumb is very weird they have ways of articulation but you need to move this part that way he have a way of articulation in a ratchet um, the legs can move to the side move to the front as you move this part here you go in a ratchet they have knee bend there you go and the toe can move and they have ankle pivoting there you go very nice oh, this video is starting getting too long <laughs> I'm sorry uh, the, the cannon I told you can turn the light on very cool and he has some accessories uh, let me show you the accessories uh, first 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 We have the maze, very cool. And for the maze, you need to do the same thing like you do in back the transformation. Uh, let's see if I can this. It was this one and kind of like a. Yeah, you need to put that thumb back the way it's supposed to go. You need to put the whole hands. It's a very flush. Flush it in. Like you got to transform him back to the gun mold and this connection connect over there and you can have his mace let me see if I can put his hand over here like that and maybe see if I can put it like this and like a grabbing his mace ready to hit Optimus Prime. I don't get a little bit crooked. Sorry for that. <laughs> there you go. Very cool. Um, they come with another accessory. Let me take off this one out and. Open this again. Take off the and out. I normally leave this hand with the thumb inside because <laughs> more easy to me to move it okay right. this one like this this one like 
that. I don't. I don't. I have some problem with the feet. I don't know what it is. Uh, they come with a sword. The sword. Not too bad. So I come with these pegs. And. I come with the pegs. Right. Peg is right there. And let's see if I can. Peg this sword somehow. <coughs> yeah, I really wish it a peg it could be more like a MP. Got this peg really done. It's kind of tricky to peg the sword, but you see they don't stay very well. Yeah, I hold it, but the position is is weird. It's, it's not too ergonomic. I really don't like it too much. Um, <clears throat> uh, you can this one transform in another weapon. Just need to peg it. <clears throat> there you go. Like this. See. This, voila, and you have this other thing. There you go. And just pick this one over here in the bottom. There you go. And what you can do. They don't have any pegs, that's mean what you can do is kind of like, uh, surround this like this. Holding that like that, <laughs> I know, it don't look very, very nice. If you hold it with the two hands, that's okay, but like that, I don't know, maybe I don't never have some weapon like that. <clears throat> For me, I think this is more for dark carry. You know, it look like a grim reaper. You know, it's time to do go. Yeah, not bad. But I have something a little bit different, and this is the sword for Napoleon. You know the tabs are not the same but I think if I fix the tab this sword will be much better. Let's see if I can work with this sword and yeah this sword will be much better than the other one. Yep. And let go with comparison very quickly. This is Masterpiece uh, Shockwave. Hey, Meg! Hey, Shockwave! Yeah, you know, Masterpiece Shockwave. And for another comparison. I have Masterpiece Optimus Prime MP10 Very cool One shot stand, one shot fall oh, Shut up Okay You know <laughs> uh, I always need to play with my toys uh, Yeah This is the X-Nights uh, Mic Tron And 
What I can say, he looked very good. I have some problem with my feet in the bottom. I need to see if I can fix that and that way he can stay better standard up. But he's quite a fun toy transformation. Kind of like a pain in the neck when you're trying to transform from gun to robot, especially the chest area. Or when you transform him to back to gun, that's not too bad. The little piece uh, uh, in the, the one over here in the side, this, this piece over here. That's for laser beak. This one over here, you see? That way you can put them. I don't have laser beak at this moment. I have in a box next time I got to show it to you. But yeah, you can put laser beak there. And that's cool. Um the cannon is really nice, it's it's, it's nice size. Um very cool they come with the batteries. That's that's neat. And overall, he he look very good. He look uh, very animation quite accurate. You know that's the only Megatron I have. Now they come a new MP Megatron. But yeah, I like this one. I hopefully I can get that other one. That way we can make comparisons. But for me, my DX9, I I like it. I like it like the the backpack is weird but hey it's very cool uh to get the maze to put the maze is a little bit tricky to put that thumb inside again and the way the thumb is i don't like it on the little peg for the weapons like at a sword is i prefer more inside the palm not close to the fingers but Hey, um, I think the um, the Apollyon sword could be much better. I just need to fix and make that connection get more for him, and I think got to look much better than the other one, than the Great Reaper thing. Uh, that one I think could be much better with the DX9 uh, Galvatron, no, or Tyrant. Um, yeah. Um, I got to leave you the link below and that way you can find him in eBay if you want it and um, yeah thank you very much to watch this video I hope so you enjoy sorry for the difficulty of transform him it's not too easy to transform but it's very cool when he's in raw mode and yeah I hope so you guys enjoy it and sorry for the difficulties. Um, this is all for today. And this is for today. If you want to see more Transformers, or Star Wars, or sci-fi toys in my collection, please click the subscribe button. Hit the little notification bell for more videos. Put a like, that helps me a look, and leave a comment. That maybe my videos get better. And like I always I say, enjoy your hobby and play with your toy collection. This is Anubis009 and I see you to the next time. Come on Prime Sayed. What? Say it. What? Say I'm surrender. Okay, okay, okay. I'm surrender. I'm surrender. Good. I'm heavy off. I'm hungry. One day, Megatron. One day, I pay you back.